Well, I'm back. Those who thought I was not coming back, uh, I'm sorry. God refused that. God refused that uh, that wish, and they told me to go back. So I'm back. And I'm so pleased to see all of you, uh, particularly those good ones. Good faces, I mean. I'm not saying anything else. I'm talking about the good faces. Yes. Well, let us start, comrades, and I'm sorry to have kept you waiting, but the meeting is still on. So I apologize for, for that. Let me say the Politburo, as I say, is still meeting. So His Excellency, the President, and First Secretary, Comrade Araji Mugabe, welcomed the members and called the 308 ordinary session of the Politburo to order at 15.30 hours today. His Excellency the President welcomed me to the Politburo after some absence on health grounds. He then wished the meeting fruitful deliberations the Secretary for Legal Affairs, who is also Minister of Finance, briefed the Politburo as follows. <coughs> A. The Presidential Input Scheme for 2017-2018 agricultural season will cover 1.8 million households. That is for maize and small grains. Two. Brazilian More Food for Africa program was also explained to the Politburo. C, special maize production program under the command agriculture was also discussed. And D, the presidential input scheme on cotton was also discussed. A total of 2,000 500 hectares of land under citrus, sugar beans, tomatoes, groundnuts is targeted for irrigation. This is the first time that horticultural production will be systematically organized for smallholder farmers. The construction of the Dogwe Mukose Dam is now complete. <coughs> Focus is now on unlocking the potential <coughs> through effective utilization of the dam. Government is working on rehabilitating roads, bridges, and houses that were damaged by rains at a cost of 105 million dollars or thereabout. The Politburo was also briefed on the energy situation, the Kariba South Extension Project, Wange 7 and 8, Vatoka Hydroelectric Scheme, and similar energy projects. The meeting was also briefed on investment promotion commissioning of the PPC cement plant, resuscitation of Willowvale Motor Industries, and the Redcliffe cement plant. The meeting was also briefed on mining and measures being implemented <coughs> to restore operations in the diamond sector. The Secretary for Business Liaison and development gave a brief on the preparations for the 2017 Zimbabwe International Trade Fair. 
Pui, the Secretary of External Relations, briefed the meeting on matters external. The meeting was fully briefed on the summit His Excellency attended recently. These include the SADC Extraordinary Summit held in Swaziland on 18th March 2017, and the inaugural summit on the African Economic <coughs> Development Issues in Port Louis, Mauritius from 20 to 22 March 2017. The Secretary for the Women's League gave a comprehensive report on the activities of Comrade <coughs> Eunice Sandimoyo Deputy Secretary of the Women's League. A litany of misconduct, errant and criminal behavior were leveled against Comrade Sandy Moyo. Her insubordination and abuse of the League's funds were alarming. The Women's League leadership had met twice to discuss the misdemeanors of Comrade Eunice Sandimoyo and Comrade Sarama Hoka, and recommended that both be relieved of their duties in the Women's League, hence the matter being brought to the Audit Bureau. During its deliberations, the Politburo was informed that both Comrade Eunice Sandimoyo and Comrade Sarama Hoka who were facing similar misdemeanors had handed in their letters of resignation from their positions in the Women's League. As per the Women's League recommendation on the two more, and their subsequent resignation, the Politburo accepted the same. Their resignation is clear testimony that they committed the offenses. They further have to pay back the funds they abused to the Women's League. I wish to remind party members, cadres across the country, as the President stated on Monday at State House, that we should take our grievances, those who have, to the properly laid structures of the party and not go by the press. We have got party procedures which must be followed so that once they are followed, the grievances are properly addressed as we have done for instance today. We must avoid taking matters into our own hands and forgetting that the procedures exist. I hope that this message will be understood by all and sundry so that as a disciplined revolutionary party, we are not seen to be working outside the Constitution. <clears throat> I hope that people <coughs> will abide <coughs> by this position and listen carefully to what the President said last Monday. But this is not to muzzle anyone, it's to encourage everybody to use party procedures because they are there. And if you follow party procedures, your grievances will definitely be addressed. 
accordingly. The Women's League, for instance, after being approached and having satisfied itself <coughs> of the issues raised against these two comrades, took a position, a recommendation, and brought it to the Politburo, which was extensively discussed and agreed upon. And as I've said, resignation of the two on their own, in spite of the recommendation, which was similar, of course, from the Women's League, testifies clearly that they are guilty, they pleaded guilty on their own of these misdemeanors. But the Politburo has, of course, accepted that position. The Secretary for the Commissariat, as I'm speaking, is giving his report on party restructuring and the forthcoming Menezi East by-election on the 8th of April, 2017. That is the end of my brief at this moment. Mm-hmm. <clears throat>